Okay, so today we get to talk about Gix, Yogmoth Praetor. A human during the Thran dynasty, Yogmoth's right-hand man, and the first being ever to be completed, becoming a Phyrexian demon by the end. Gix Yogmoth Praetor is a legendary 3-3 Phyrexian Praetor for 1 and 2 black that says, whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may pay 1 life. If they do, they draw a card. Then, it has pay 4 and 3 black. Discard X cards, then exile the top X cards of target opponent's library. You may play lands and cast spells from among cards exiled this way without paying their mana costs. <laughs> I love the design of this card. The first part has your opponents taking the deal with the demon to attack your opponents and pay life to draw cards for themselves. Speaking of deals, here's one for you. If you like the video and sub to the channel, I'll keep making videos. But if you don't hit those buttons, I guess I'll just keep making videos anyway. To use Gix card draw ability for yourself, you can use any number of black creatures that have skulk, shadow, or any kind of evasion to get through your opponent's defenses. Depending on how successful this tactic is, you might need some life gain in there to mitigate that effect. I think drain effects rather than life gain creatures will be most effective in this regard. Shieldred is way too expensive for me, but gaining 2 life when you draw a card is a perfect pairing for Gix in this case. But your opponents may be less inclined to pay 3 life whenever they draw a card from Gix, so meh, I'm not sure how effective that will be. Underworld Dreams has the same effect but will only deal 1 damage instead of 2, potentially softening the sting of drawing extra cards and paying life, but it'll still be a gamble and it depends on the people at your table. Psychosis Crawler is an artifact creature for 5 that says its power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your hand, and whenever you draw a card, each opponent loses a life, so you'll definitely want this in a Gix deck. Once you get a stupid number of cards in your hand, you'll want to keep them, so the usual card draw staples should be included. Reliquary Tower, Thought Vessel, and Decanter of Endless Water. But adding Venser's Journal will make paying life for cards a non-issue. It's an artifact for 5 that says you have no maximum hand size, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you gain 1 life for each card in your hand. While you're gaining more and more cards, you're going to want to be ramping as much as possible to get access to Gix's second ability. A Dark Ritual might actually be worth the slot in this case, giving you the chance to use Gix's ability on turn 5 with no additional ramp, and on turn 4 if you get one piece of ramp. If you draw it later in the game, you can potentially use Gix's ability indefinitely. Since we're in the pay life, life gain business, Kirik's Son of Yagmoth is probably worth the include, even though this line of play won't be as efficient. Gix costs 3, and Kirik costs 4 and 6 life, so you won't be able to activate Gix's ability because you'll already have used that 4 mana you had to cast Kirik. Even so, it might be worth it to pay the life to cast creatures and then use your mana to activate Gix's ability. I'm sure it would work out if you got both of those on the field. Now, I've always wanted one of these, but Cryptgast would help with ramp and life gain as well. It's a 2-2 spirit for 3 into black that has Extort. Extort says whenever you cast a spell, you may pay white or black. If you do, each opponent loses 1 life and you gain that much life. The white-black symbol in this case is in the reminder text and not part of the card color identity, so it belongs in a black deck. It also says whenever you tap a swamp for mana, add 1 black to your mana pool in addition to the mana you'd get normally. Now that I think about it, Kyrick's ability would let you pay the black mana to extort with life. I definitely need to do something fun with that idea. Then of course there's Cabal Coffers, and if you're on a budget like I am, Cabal Stronghold. Both of these lands will let you pay mana to make mana. Two for Coffers, and three for Stronghold. Then you tap them, and make mana equal to the number of basic swamps you control. But now that I think about it, these lands won't exactly ramp you into using Gix's ability but they will let you use his ability and have mana left over to do other stuff. This is because you'd still need 7 swamps on the field to activate the ability with these lands. I'll have to play this out sometime to see if it's worthwhile and if it works the way I think it does, but regardless, it really is a great option if you want to have an explosive game-ending turn. 
I'm sure I'm not the only one excited about Gix Yogmoth Praetor, so let me know what your plans are for this card in the comments below. There have been plenty of comments mentioning interactions that I didn't think about in other videos, so I'm sure anyone who reads them will find out some new information just like I did. But anyway, that's all for now, so until next time, I'm Space Coconut, and you're welcome.